no buy ban. How's it going? Mm. Okay, actually, my no buy ban has been going very, very well. There's one minor slip up, and it is very minor, and that is I wanted to get hold of some Anubis by Papillon, and I ended up buying that, which is very cheap, and I'm going to write that off as a one-off little mistake. Apart from that, I haven't bought anything since, yeah, I haven't bought anything since the end of December, and it's going very, very well, and actually, I'm really enjoying the fact that there's no point even looking, there's no point keep scrolling through various Facebook groups looking for perfumes, there's no point when you um, when you read a post on Facebook and someone talks about a fragrance they've just tried or they want to try and you start to look at it and you go on for granted you can read the reviews, maybe go YouTube, watch a review, suddenly it, a momentum builds in your head and it's like, oh my god, this sounds like it could be amazing. I have to try it. I have to try it. And before you know it, you're hunting down a sample or buying a decant from someone, or worse, you're buying the full bottle. Sometimes what I do and what I've done in the past is I've bought a bottle and split it so that I've uh, recovered some of the cost. But even so, what you're left with in that bottle, if you're not loving it, there's no point having it in my opinion. I'm not a collector as such. I'm more about wearing the fragrance and enjoying the fragrance. So there is something really quite peaceful in kind of not doing that and just letting it all go because at the end of the day, I'm never gonna smell everything. Perfumes are released, hundreds, thousands of perfumes are released every year. It's impossible to sniff everything out. It's impossible to sniff everything out that contains your favorite notes. It's just not doable and I think it can drive us a little bit insane. So I'm, I'm actually gonna advocate and encourage my lovely viewers, I'm gonna encourage you to join me in a no buy ban. Maybe some of you have problems, maybe you're compulsive buyers, compulsively hunting down the next gem, the next, or maybe you're always on the hype train, always after like, oh, Sauvage EDP, um, Creed Viking, maybe you're just constantly hunting out those hype train monsters, only to be sorely disappointed when you finally spend the whole week's wages on a bottle for it to just be a bit blah. Maybe that's you. Or maybe you're a bit more sensible, a bit like me, and a little bit more considered in your purchases, but you still make the odd mistake. And the odd mistake can be expensive. So, I'm urging you, I'm encouraging you, and helping you, and saying, do you know what? Give it a go. Let's go on a no buy ban. Join me. It's the new thing. Don't buy stuff. <laughs> Stop it. Obviously, I'm not really telling anyone what to do, but I have to say I am enjoying being on my no buy ban and I would encourage people to give it a go, even if you only do it for a week or a month. It's actually really good to enjoy the fragrances that I already own. Um, I'm going to try and get through a little bit more of my decants because I've got a ton of decants and they're not getting enough love and it's kind of helping me to focus a little bit more on the fragrances that I enjoy and realise that actually the majority of things that I try don't excite me, they don't really do it for me. Oh, sweetie needs to come in, one second. He's a good girl. Here she comes. <laughs> so, what was I saying? <laughs> I want to get Sweetie on camera for you people. Come here, Sweetie. Come on. Let's get Sweetie on. Who needs to hear me yabbering on when you can see this beautiful little lady? What I'm saying is I'm really enjoying not buying stuff and I've extended my no-buy to anything unnecessary. So 
nothing shiny, no new clothes, no new skincare products, nothing unnecessary at all am I buying until uh, January, February, March. Uh, January, February, March, until the 1st of April, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm kind of scared a little bit. But so far, so good. Um, we are nearly at the end of January, so I think I've done very well. Let me know if you've tried no buy bands. Have you succeeded? Did you enjoy it? Did you get anything out of it? Or do you not care and you just like to buy it with abandon? Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think of Sweetie and her. Can you hear her purring? No, I'm not sure you'll pick that up. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Anyway, I think that's enough from me and sweetie, and we'll say goodbye.